Hi, I'm Mary Beth Lachak, Director of Strategic Communications of the Canada-France Hawaii Telescope. Today we're talking about lunar eclipses. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Sun, the Earth, and the Moon are in a perfectly straight line. This happens when the Moon is full. The Moon doesn't make its own light, rather it reflects sunlight back to the Earth. So during a lunar eclipse, the Earth is blocking the Sun from hitting the Moon. The Moon is in the Earth's shadow. Now the Earth orbits the Sun and the Moon orbits the Earth. And so sometimes that alignment is absolutely perfect. The Moon moves into the Earth's shadow and the Earth blocks all of that sunlight from hitting the surface of the Moon. Now we would expect the Moon to be completely dark during a lunar eclipse, but the Earth has an atmosphere, the air that we breathe. So the light from the sun enters the Earth's atmosphere and it's bent, it's refracted. And that refracted red sunlight reflects off of the moon during a lunar eclipse. That's often why you hear lunar eclipses called blood moons. The intensity, the color, how red the moon is during a lunar eclipse really depends on what's going on in the Earth's air. Is there a volcano erupting? Do we have sandstorms somewhere? Are there forest fires? All of those create more particulates, more ick in the air, which causes the moon to look redder. The light is refracted more and the moon looks redder. So that means that the moon can vary from a pale pink to maybe a little bit of an orangish, all the way to a pretty dark red during a lunar eclipse. Now, a common question that I get asked is, why don't we have eclipses every month? They occur when the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun are in a perfectly straight line, which you would think would happen when we have new moon, when we don't see the moon, or full moon, when the moon is completely illuminated by the Sun. This is a simplification of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun's orbit. The Moon actually orbits a little bit above and below the plane of the Earth's orbit. We can imagine this a little bit with hula hoops. So you see how the two hula hoops here, one is the plane of the Earth's orbit and the other is the plane of the, sun, of the Moon's, they're actually tipped a little bit. This is really only about five degrees, but I'm making it bigger so you can see it. When that happens, you see we have two points where the two orbits cross. These are known as the nodes. So if we have a new moon at a node, then we have a total solar eclipse. If we have a full moon at a node, we have a total lunar eclipse. If the moon is at a node in any other point in its orbit, they're not exactly in a straight line and there's no eclipse. And if it's a new moon or a full moon without an eclipse, that means that the moon's a little bit above or a little bit below the perfect geometric alignment needed to create an eclipse. This month, we're going to have a lunar eclipse that's visible here in Hawaii. It starts the night of May 25th, around 11, 11, 15 p.m and goes into the early morning hours of May 26th. Totality, when the moon's completely blocked, is going to occur from about 1.15 to 1.20 a.m. Make sure you go out and take a look. 